guys, Hunt King coming back in another video today, and today what we're going to be doing is, um, we're on deer hunting today. I'm um, getting all my hunting stuff together, have my 25-06 Safari, I keep it in the gun safe, or my gun, uh, bag, um, I don't know what it's called, but, oh well, gun bag, uh, gun case. There it is, gun case. Then my hunting bag, camera stuff. We're gonna leave out about three and get over in the stand. Hopefully kill a deer. There's been a buck coming in there. Um, yesterday morning he was in there. Uh, day before yesterday he was in there that morning, middle of the day and that evening. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get him. I think he's a four point, but he's got some mass to him. So we'll have to look at him and see. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting all this stuff packed up, and I'll see y'all in the stand. Alright, you guys, made it to the stand. Y'all have probably probably seen this stand um, in videos before on the shooting house. But um, we did something different here. There used to be bushes all right in there. We cleared all those out. There was a lane right there. Well, actually, the power line people came, and they cleared that out. There's a bee in here with me. I don't do bees. Uh-uh. Not no walls. I ain't getting stung today. But, um, yeah. Pipeline, or pipeline, power line. Most of the bucks come to the pipeline. Every now and then, some will cross right there to come over here, so. The feeder is 100 yards. The top gate is 200. So, the only, the further shot I've taken with this rifle right here is a hundred yards y'all can't even see it but yeah so 25 volt 6 safari i just bought this rifle this year browning rifle first browning rifle i've ever owned and this thing is sweet i'm absolutely fell in love with this rifle but here let me set the camera down real quick Fit a lot. There we go. Alright. There we go. She's locked in. Now we just have to. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, push this to. Alright. This is going to be loud, but this is how you got to do it. So. And now she's ready to fire. So, there we go. As you can see, the designs on this rifle is nice. This is the nicest rifle I've ever owned. Um, yeah, just has a little. Uh, oh, you see the brand of that scope on there. But uh, yeah, good scope. I mean, this is the first scope I've ever seen to where you have to move the whole. You have to turn this whole thing for the that right there for the whole thing to zoom in it's weird this whole piece moves first scope i've ever seen like that but i'm gonna go ahead and get my camera tripod set up and the hunting camera this is my uh camera i just keep on me that's the one my other camera i'm gonna use for hunting from now on has a faster zoom um better at light closer to dark it's better so go ahead and be quiet and I will see y'all if something comes out or when I'm leaving. <laughs> so, it's either one of the two. Something's going to happen today. I can feel it though. Something's going to happen today. So, yeah. I'll see y'all when something happens. Alright, guys. So, um, as y'all just saw on this camera, there's three does over there in that other food plot. Let me see if I can zoom back in on them. Yeah. You can see them on there. So I ain't got to zoom this camera in because the zoom is so slow. There's three, three does over there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this camera up and um, I'll get back to y'all if something comes out other than does. I'm going to keep watching those make sure a buck doesn't come out over there. I wish I had my range finder but I ain't got it. Yeah, it's just the same three three days, so 
I'm gonna keep an eye on those, and I'll let y'all know if something else comes out, like a, hopefully a big buck comes out, that'd be cool. So, I'll see y'all if something else comes out. Alright guys, we got one deer bites lonesome out here. And that other food plot. I think it's a doe. Yeah, it's just by itself. It might be a little, yeah, it's a little button buck. That's what that is. Yep. Alright. I'm going to keep watching it and see if something comes over here. But I'll let you guys know if something else decides to walk out. Alright, you guys just had a tall spike walk out. I know there's a bigger buck that was running with him about a week ago. That's a tall spike. <laughs> I've never seen him in person, just pictures of him. Sorry if the camera's bouncing around, I don't have a good uh, tripod. I don't have a tripod, so. Alright guys, so I just hit the grunt call a few times and I think that's that little button buck that just came back. He just ran right out of the woods and that big spike ran in the woods, so I think they're chasing each other. I thought it was a doe at first. It might be. Doing the same, yeah, that's a button buck. It's gotta be. Same way that spike went, just went in. Alright. Oh, I still see it. Yep, there it is. Right into the woods. I knew he was coming this way. If only I can get a bigger buck to do that. He's only 75 yards. <laughs> Came out right there at the creek. That other little buck, he, or I guess it's a button buck, I'm not sure. He's still over in the other food plot. That feeder went off at like 3.30, 4 o'clock. I think it went off right at 4. Almost an hour ago. Or a little under an hour. I don't know.
Alright guys, um, I know you can't see me right now, but yeah, I'm still, and you probably hear the frogs in the background, but yeah, I'm still in the shooting house, um, it's dark, this camera has terrible low lighting, but anyways, I'm probably gonna end today's video here, I mean, yeah, we saw them four doves yesterday, um, and I think there were five total, yeah, there were five total, after it got dark, I seen five, because I seen four in the corn pile and one on the hill. So there were five yesterday, and then two, I think that was a little, uh, button buck. I'm not sure. It could have been a doe, but I think it was a button buck. I might be wrong, but anyways, I ain't gonna shoot him, so it don't matter. I ain't gonna shoot a doe or him, if it's a little button buck. But, uh, saw that spike, so that was neat. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close off today's video now. So, stay tuned for next video. We'll be, um, deer hunting because I'm going to come deer hunting in the morning. I'm just going to be in a different stand. I'm going to be in that other stand where I started filming those bikes this evening. I'll be in that stand in the morning. So, hope you guys like today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we are getting close to 70 we're still at 63 like last video i said that but we're uh trying to get to 70 subscribers so be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay tuned for more hunts like this and turkey season's right around the corner so yeah like comment and subscribe and i will catch you on the next one